Welcome to Real Talk in Jesus' name. Lord, first of all, we want to thank you for allowing us to be a vessel to be used by you. We thank Sky 13. I thank my husband. And I want to thank all you viewers who do watch. Like you guys know, um, never plan nothing. Because I just believe that the Lord will allow us to speak about what he want us to speak to be a help to others and also a help to ourselves. So um, thank the Lord for using my sister, Sheila, to come to be a part of the um, broadcast today. I'm going to turn it over to my sister and we'll just see what the Lord is going to do through us as we're on the show. God bless, God bless everybody today. Lord, I thank you for putting it in my sister's spirit today, Father, to when two come together, Father God, that you're going to you, be Jesus. powerful through this today, Father. That every situation that we speak about today, Father, that we will open up somebody's heart, that we will open up somebody's spirit, and that they will see the truth, truthness in me and Sister Letha right now, God. Thank you, Lord That Jesus. you brought us together before a reason Two strong women in Christ. Thank you, Lord. That we pull in together to help each other. Yes, so we Lord. thank Sky 13 for this moment and thank you, God, for being in your presence just one more time. Yes, Lord. We thank you. God bless y'all. I don't, I, when I go on my live, I don't know what to say either. I let God move me. But I'm just going to say I thank God for just being the head of my life and the, where he got me at today. Yes, and Lord. I thank God for putting people like Sister Smalls into my life. And I know she could say the same thing too. Yes. We don't get together often, but we do come in contact. And I thank God for her. She's the most strongest woman I ever came in contact and very powerful. And when she speaks, you got to listen. Thank you, Lord. You can thank learn you. from her. She's a vessel. She's a true vessel of God. It's not about me and it's not about her. Yes. But I got to let y'all recognize who stand before you. Yes, we are not perfect. We are far short of his glory. But listen, she's able to do anything that God asks her to do. Lord, so we're going to bring this message to God's people. Y'all enjoy and just, just take it to her. Just listen. Sometimes we have to listen. And listen, I know sometimes I don't listen, and I know sometimes Sister Small yes, don't listen. Lord, so that show y'all that we not perfect. We trying, we pressing on the best way that we could. Amen. And I want to start off by saying, as Christian people, we all fall short of his glory. We, have, we all have issues. It's hard for me. It's a struggle for me every day just to keep up foot to let people know that God is able, that he love us no matter what we do, no matter what we come through yes. in life. But we got to recognize as sisters and as sisters as God, we here too. If you need to talk, we here too. We go through things. What we get up on Facebook and tell you, we go through things. We not perfect. It's okay. a struggle for us. We moms, we wives, we grandmothers, we great. You know what I'm saying? And we move hard. We try to keep pressing on to what God asks us to do. But it's hard. It's hard for us every day. But we keep moving and we keep pushing. Yes. Every day we get up, it's not a good day. Every day we get up, there's issues that come because we moms and we grandmothers and we wives. There's issues that come against us. But with his grace and his mercy, we make it. Thank you, Jesus. We make it. Thank and we're going to make it together as sisters, as women of God. We're here to motivate you that needs to be motivated. We have to motivate ourselves. Sometimes we got to be delivered from ourselves because we hold ourselves back. Mm -hmm. We don't mean to, but we do. Amen. And I'm going to pass it over to my sister. Amen. You know, the Lord is amazing. He's amazing. Um, and I, you know, I always like it to be known. And I thank the sister and my sister for, um, you know, just acknowledging and letting people know how, how, what she believes about me. And I thank the Lord for that because, you know, we, I have struggles, you know, I have struggles, but you know, one thing I can honestly say is that the Lord has given me the ability 
to never be a quitter. You know, even when it looks like I quit or I'm not dead, the Lord is doing something, you know, in our lives. You know, we have to learn to be more focused on the Lord and not other people because, you know, we was having a little conversation and I'm like, you know, and I think we both probably needed to hear it. And someone else need to hear this is that. We can't, I always say this, and I said it before in past shows that I did, is that we can't not allow people to become our idols, you know? And and really, we not really acknowledging it. We can say Jesus, God, and all day long, but yet and still, we're more focused on how people are viewing us instead of how the Lord is viewing us. See, the Lord is so amazing is that he shapes us. He shapes us and he molds us. You know, I'm, I'm not talking the same that I talked five years ago. If I look back, I, I'm like, okay, sometimes I go back and I look at things and I read things that I wrote down. I'm like, wow, Lord, you know, I see the things that I wrote down then and I look back now and I see how things came in the past and I see things that I still got to work on. But one thing is about in, when walking with the Lord. Sometimes for me, sometimes there's times the Lord still has to carry me. There's sometimes I don't feel like doing stuff, you know. And once again, I thank the Lord, you know, for my sister, you know, because I didn't see the message that she was showing up, but I kind of felt that she would anyway. And I'm like, oh, I was telling my husband, I said, well, if she don't come, I'm just going to cancel, you know. But I thank the Lord. See, we are helpers one to another. Amen. Just because it's a TV show Amen. and be like, oh, my God, you're on TV, baby. I don't always feel like being up here. I don't always feel like because I just don't feel like it. Sometimes I wake up and I have to talk to the Lord and I have to say, Lord, you know, if you don't help me, I can't be helped. Because sometimes I have some thinking, stinking, what they call it, stinking, thinking. <laughs> that stinking, yes, thinking. Yes. And I'm like, Lord, Jesus, help me. See, I'm, I like being truthful and honest because walking with the Lord is not, is not as hard as people make it be. Mm-hmm. It's not, it's not, sis. It's, it's not, not as hard as it's not people make it. Make it to be. You know what I'm saying? Because we all falter. Mm-hmm. And if they know that you're in Christ and you falter, now you they want to beat you in the head. Mm-hmm. Like, mm-hmm. like we all have issues. issues. That's right. That's we what are. my Bible tells me. Mine too. So we read the same Bible. And we fall short of his glory. Amen. Um, Amen. Yes. And that's why it's a press. Yeah. It's a press. It's a press. You yeah. know what I'm saying? And we were saying out there's like I thank the Lord that even though we know we got issues, but we still fighting. We still fighting. We still in the race. Every day. Every day. Every day. You know what I'm saying? With our messed up selves. That's right. The mm-hmm. father, the this, everything, girl. Messed up selves. I like saying by I'm his like, grace, we will we be. That's right. Nobody but Jesus. I'm trying to tell. So him. don't allow people to, you know, people gonna be people. Regardless. People gonna be people. No matter how good you're doing, somebody gonna have something to say. No matter how, how low you fall, somebody gonna have, you can be in the middle, somebody gonna have something to say. Mm-hmm. But we have to be strong minded and allow the naysayers to just continue to make us run the race. Mm-hmm. Don't let the naysayers make you give up on yourself. Because right. a lot of times the naysayers are basically they're. They're mad and happy. Mm -hmm. They're mad because things they said about you didn't come to pass. That's right. And then part of them are happy that you are making it. That's right. So they're in a battle. Yep. They're in a battle. Yep. You know what I'm saying? That's That's why we have to speak well of one another. So if I speak well of you. Respect each other. Right. If I speak well of you, sis, and I see you fall and you stumbling, and I go get on the phone and start talking about you, and then when the Lord raised you up, Mm -hmm. I'm not going to be that happy about you because all the stuff I said about you. And that's what we're dealing with now in Christ. That's exactly what we're dealing with now in Christ. And we can't think of people like that because Jesus didn't think of us like that. Mm -mm. He know we wasn't nothing. That's and, right. and to us, we know, and I always tell people, we have to be delivered from ourselves. Yes, we do. Because we hold ourselves back. Yes, we A lot do. of people scared of change 
but change is the best thing that you can go through. Yes, Lord. When you're dealing with when you're dealing with the Lord, if you don't want change, then I don't know what to tell you because I want change. I'm not perfect. I yes. listen every day. I get up. Thank you, Jesus. What's gonna come against me today? Because right. I have to prepare, prepare myself mm, yes, for it because I don't right. know what's going to come against that's me right. today. That's I could have right. been on my way here today and somebody woke up this morning with hell in them. And if I respond to that and I'm coming here to do God's work, who, was, who am I? That's right. We have who to am stand. I? That's right. We have to stand. And standing does not mean you're not going to lean a little bit. That's right. You're not going to stumble a little bit. Standing does not mean that, but standing is we become more and more yes. stronger yes. in the Lord. You yes. know what I'm saying? Things that used to affect us don't affect us anymore. You know what I'm saying? Fears that we used to have, we don't have them same type of fears no more. Right. But I'm going to be honest. I still got certain fears in me. And I said, Lord. And me too. Help me, Jesus. Because if you're a human being and you ain't got no fear. God bless you. God bless you. Just teach God, me how to God bless show me. you. Because you know I have saying? fear every day. You every have fear. day. I had fear this morning when I came because then the enemy coming. You don't want to go do that. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do that. Yes, I do. Yeah. Because it's not for me. There's a word for sub yes, everybody. Jesus. I don't have to be hollering and screaming, but there's a word and there's a message. Yes. There's a message in this this morning. Yes, Lord. But somebody Hallelujah. that needs that message, they're gonna click on to it. That's and right. they're going to say, I see these sisters. I didn't know they was like that because mm -hmm. such and such told me, oh, you know, she was this and then, Sh then Sheila was this. Letha was that. Mm -hmm. But look at them. They That's up here right. trying to pretend like they serving God. We are serving God because if right. we wasn't serving God, what would we do? And what would come out of our mouth? You understand listen, what I'm saying? Listen, you know what? It just comes to a point in my life where... You know, it's funny. It's not funny, but it is funny <laughs> because, see, when I was I in the wilderness, so when I was in the wilderness, I was in training. That's right. Like, my wilderness was out there doing crack and living that That's crazy right. life. That was the wilderness, but the Lord was training me training how, to, how to discern spirits. Mm -hmm. He was training me how to not be afraid of many faces. That's right. He was training me not to be worried Lord, about what the Jesus. people got to say because when Jesus. I was out there living that life, I didn't care what nobody was saying about that's me right. and how they looked at me and, and their perception of me. I was trying to get high, that's and right. that's what I did. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? I got high. That's Sitting right. on them corners looking crazy like a monster because that's what the drugs do to that's you. That's right. I didn't care about the many faces that's looking at me and putting me down and saying, look at her, look at her, look at her, look yeah. at her. You know what I'm saying? So the Lord was training me Amen. that now that I'm, I'm doing my best to Thank follow the Lord, Jesus. I'm not afraid of the many faces that's right. that still got something to say. Mm -hmm. I'm not afraid of those that look at me and be like, oh, look at uh-uh, uh-uh. See, I don't, I don't, I thank the Lord because I'm not concerned about what the people that's are right. saying. I'm more concerned about what the Lord what is, is saying. saying. And just because I'm concerned about what he's saying, that's why I can continue to press. Right. And I look and I examine myself and I say, wow, you know what? I can see me, Lord. Thank you for allowing me to examine me. me. See, right. too many people want to examine everybody else. else. And the reason why I believe is because if I examine you and I look at all your faults, mm -hmm. You know what that do to me? That makes me feel good. Yeah. I lift my, I'm lifting myself up. Yeah, you lifting up. yourself up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I, I, if you're examining me and you're trying to add this program and you examine us and you be like, you know what? That what she said wasn't right. You, that's not what we're supposed to do. If you feel like there's something that we're saying that you don't agree with, Pray for us, because we need right. prayer. We need prayer. I need it every day. We need prayer. <laughs> I know I need prayer. I got some, ooh, I got yes, some issues. Yes. I need yes. some, I need prayer. I got issues. Mm -hmm. But I thank the Lord in spite of our issues. issues. Look what we still trying to do. We could come together. We still trying to help somebody mm -hmm. else, as well as we're being helped too, doing mm -hmm. this. That's right. We're being helped too. Yeah, it's hard. Listen. Sometimes people look at Christian people like they phony, they fake. But God is not phony and God is not fake. He who he is. And listen, when you, when you try to serve God, 
it's hard for some people because they want to hide their issues. They don't want to deal with what the main thing is. And it's yourself. Mm -hmm. Everybody that you deal with, listen, it's not them. It's you. You got to look inside of you. That's why Lord and, I, and I love when you be saying, Lord, is it I? And that's what I be saying now. Yes, I be like, Lord, Lord is, is it, it I? I? When you come across somebody and you look at them, I be, Lord, is it I? Is it I? Is it I? Is it I? No, is it you? Is it I? No. It's I. No. <laughs> <laughs> you know you yeah. have to. We have it's to. Yeah. Is it me? Am I? Yes. Is, what, what, did, I, did I miss something? You know what I'm saying? Because that's how the Lord wants us to See, the more we honest with self, yes. then we can be honest with others. Mm -hmm. You can't be honest with others until you learn yeah, how to be honest, honest with yourself. self. Yeah. Myself tells me I got issues. Yeah. So if I'm being honest with self and I'm examining myself and I'm saying, Lord, you know what? I shouldn't have said it like that. Or Lord, I shouldn't have felt like that. Yeah. Or Lord, maybe my perception was wrong on yeah. how I viewed the conversation I was having with that person. Mm -hmm. Or Lord, is it I, Lord? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yep. And because when I say that, he said, listen. You go back and you say it a different way. Yes. Let them know that God is inside of yes. you. Yes. You be know what I'm saying? Yeah, we got to be example to the people, the unbelievers. And I truly believe that he going to raise up the unbelievers. Oh, girl. I truly believe. I've been speaking that. Girl. Because the believers is not in position where they're supposed to be at. But he going to raise up the unbelievers that's going to truly believe that there's a God. And that he is See, in the mix. You, you know what it is? Sometimes, sometimes when we look around and we see, see, I can speak for this for my mm -hmm. own self. Go ahead. Because I was in the wilderness on mm -hmm. them drugs and I was bound. Not that I didn't want to stop getting yeah. high. I had a stronghold. Yes. You Lord. know what I'm saying? A lot of people don't understand when you read your word, the word tells you, of, talks about strongholds. Mm -hmm. yep. Spirits are real. Yes, they There's are. so many people out there that want to be broke free, but they have a stronghold. Oh. But believe you when I say, when the Lord break them free, Lord, you're going to talk about some warriors for the Lord what? Jesus Christ? What? You're talking about some people who's bold? In the Lord, see those what the they they in their wilderness right yeah. now. But watch watch these soldiers that the Lord gonna break he free. Plant, he plant and seeds right now. He Man. plant and seeds to the unbelievers. Let me tell you, I'm not even gonna say so much as being unbelievers because of sometimes we can look at people and say they're unbelievers because we're looking at their Ouch. outwardly yeah. experiences. I was a believer still mm -hmm. out there smoking crack and praying mm -hmm. with the stem in my mouth, praying, Lord, help me, Jesus. He had I don't want to do this. I don't want to be doing this, but I keep doing it. Keep doing it. I don't want to do this, but I keep doing it. Keep, keep doing, doing it. it. See, that's what we have to do. Don't worry about what people are saying. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the crack house. And I start talking about Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In the crack house, getting mm -hmm. high. People still trying to put, they try, and they why say, you going to talk, why about, you talk God? about that? We you, trying to get high. Or are we trying to do this? Why you going to talk about you him? You got to talk about him I'm, no matter what Lord level Jesus. you on. Because when I go amongst the people, like my family and stuff, and they drink, and now listen, I start preaching, I start speaking his word. But we drink, I say, he, that's what he wants you to hear when you're drinking, when you're smoking. You know? And it's like, you know, there's things that I do, but I don't allow it to overtake me. Amen. You know Say what I'm that, saying? Sister. Say I, that I, again. I'm not going to allow it to overtake me. You know, a lot of times what we call sin is not sin. That's right. But because lack of knowledge, we want to call everything sin. That's you know right. what the biggest sin is? Well, no, I'm not going to say the biggest. Because sin is sin. Mm -hmm. You know, I can wear, following the law, which the law is in Leviticus that talks about the law. Mm -hmm. There's some things that they say you still mm -hmm. hold on to and some things that, that has passed away. Now, if I follow everything in Leviticus. Come on. But that one thing I can't do is love. Come on. You better walk that right I can't way, love. Come on. You mean I can wear my lawn dresses. I can wear the big hats. 
no makeup, mm -hmm. don't cut my hair, mm -hmm. don't do this, mm -hmm. don't do that. Now, I, I got all this down pat. That's right. But yet and still, I can't love my fellow brothers and sisters, yeah. and I say how much I love yeah. God, who I don't see. Jesus. Well, you can see him in everything, but I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. But then my brothers and sisters, natural or spiritual, I can't love them and forgive them for their faults. That's right. How many, how many natural brothers and sisters ain't even talking to each other but in Christ? Come on. In Christ. Come on. Speaking in tongues. Not fell Hot all out and Michael everything, Laka. everything. Won't even go reconcile with one another. Yeah. Ain't talk to a man. Because you know what that is? That's called pride. Yep. Pride. I can't even imagine. That's pride. I can't I've been through a lot with my brothers, my natural brothers. We've been through a lot. Mm -hmm. Ain't nothing then one of them can ever do, and I some have done some things, mm -hmm. can ever do that I can't forgive them oh, no, and love right. them. That's you right. know why? Because I ain't got all together, and that's I need right. my God to forgive that's me right. and love me. Mm, that's right. That's mm -hmm. right. And if they did hard for your siblings, they got to do the same way. God have to work with them. It's all about forgiveness. You have to forgive people, and the key is you have to forgive yourself. No matter what we do, no matter what happened to us, we have to forgive each other. He forgives us, so why we can't forgive somebody and forgive yourself? There is, there is nothing that no one ever done to me. And I'm, I, the Lord knows I'm telling the truth that I do not forgive them and pray for them Jesus. and still love them. The Jesus. man who tried to kill me Lord and rape me and left me for dead, and I was in a coma for like about a month or so. Hold, do you know I still pray for that man right mm -hmm. to this day? Yep. I pray for, do I hate him? No. No, no I don't. Something. Sister, I, go, I mm -mm. went through the same thing, too. No, no, Lord. The one that stabbed me up, and I'm not supposed to be sitting here. Mm -hmm. You can see the scars on me. Mm -hmm. But listen, when he got out of jail, listen, God showed me. I've seen him. You have that fear in you until yeah. God placed it, because that's when I gave myself to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Then I mm -hmm. seen him. He had got out of jail. I seen him. Then I said, I didn't have that fear. I said, God, look at here. Mm -hmm. And then I said, God, I thank you. Thank I thank you for taking that fear away from me. Yes, Lord. I have a grandson with him. You mm -hmm. understand what I'm saying? And listen, he come to my house and he said, Sheila, you know what? Please forgive me. I said, I forgive you. You yes, understand? Sir. It happened at, at a funeral. And see, this is how God moved. And everybody, when I went to go speak to him and say, I forgive you, everybody was like, go get Sheila. I said, no. That's Don't right. go get me. Let me do what God asked That's me to right. do. That That's man right. come and sit to my table. He said, Sheila, I'm in the need of prayer. So I hate you enough that I can't pray for you. Yes. And I say I call myself a woman of God. Mm -mm. Listen, I pray for you. I pray for you. Yes, Lord. Then if I didn't pray for you, then what God do for me? That's right. He didn't take that prayer. out of me. We all need prayer. We all, I need prayer. I tell people, like, listen, listen. I need prayer. You know what I'm listen. saying? Listen. I need prayer, the prayer of the righteous, the prayers of the righteous. Lord, have mercy, Jesus. You know what I'm saying? Because, see, it's, it's amazing, but it's not amazing because it's in the word of God. One minute, somebody praying for you to be delivered. Yes. Then when you get delivered, they mad you got delivered because you had, the Lord has esteemed right. you and moved That's right. you. That's right. In, in, in a way where... How, how come this sister gets so much love from people and this sister, you know what I'm saying? Why? See, jealousy is something else. You have jealous spirits in your natural family mm -hmm. and in your spiritual family. Amen. Jealousy is you something else. Come on with but it. the reason why people are so jealous is because they don't know who they are. Mm -hmm. When you know who you are, you don't got time to be jealous of somebody right. else because of their, their gifts or their right. talents or whatever stuff they have. Just know that, know who you are. Yeah. That's you right. know what I'm saying? You don't feel intimidated by another woman. Why am I feel intimidated by another woman? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Who, who, and say, oh, she looks so much more beautiful than I look. Now I can't stand her. I don't even want her around my yeah. man. I don't want yeah. her around my husband. Baby, know who you are. That's right. You know who you are because, that. see, that's character, right. I tell my kids, character can take you places money can never take I you. I know that's right. I know that's right. And I'm going to say that again. Tell, tell them, I'm about to say, tell them Character again. Character can take you places money can never That's take right. you. 
You That's understand? Right. It's about character. Mm -hmm. And a lot of people don't have that. They, a lot of people don't have nothing. Galatians. Listen, they don't talks have about it. The character. And it's so simple. If God can use me, he can use anybody. If he can use me, he can use a bird. He can use whoever Ain't he anything wants. Anything he choose to use. He can use anybody. You just have to be willing and able to do what God asks you to do. A willing vessel. I'm telling you. And, and being a willing vessel does not mean the Lord can use me mightily. Mm -hmm. And I still got issues. Yeah. But see, he's using me. Yep. You know what I'm saying? He's not using me because I got it all together. He's using me because I, 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 I believe that I love being truthful. Mm -hmm. I love being honest. I like to direct people, pull people, and send them to the Lord, not That's me. Because right. Jesus right. is my great example. That's and right. Don't let me, because I, I tell y'all all the time, don't let me be your great example, because I mess up still. That's right. And if, if I'm your great example and you look into me to be the great example, now what happens is you catch me on a bad day. Now you feel like, oh, my God, I never thought she would. Baby, don't. Uh-uh. 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 Jesus. That's right. I send people to Jesus. That's right. Jesus. The That's Lord right. Jesus Christ. That's what I want. Send you to Jesus. He'll Not me. He'll work it Not out. Not me. That's right. Hmm. He will work it out. Not me. And there's nothing that we can do but just keep telling them and just keep following Christ. Because, listen, some people don't got a hell or heaven to put you in. So you got to follow Christ. That's right. It's, it's, it's not about going to the church. It's not about going to the hospital. It's about your relationship with him. That's right. You it's gotta how, have a relationship. It's how you talk to him because I talk to him just like I'm talking to you. So do I. You understand <laughs> what I'm saying? And people be like, who are you talking to? I say, I'm talking so to do my I. father. We so are do I. I'm talking to my father. You talk to him like that. Yeah, I, I talk to I, him like right. that. That's right. We got like three minutes left, and I love it. God <laughs> is so too. good, you know. Yeah. We just be rolling, yeah. you know. So, um, listen. God is so good. Yes, he is. Um, sis, God, I said a couple things before yeah, we... Yeah, but you know, it, it's just who it is. I love it, because God really changed me. Let me tell you, because I had a cussing old tongue. But if you get it <laughs> twisted, we being honest. God tell you to be honest. God tell you to be That's truthful. Right. That's right. Because I'm still in the flesh. That's right. You understand That's what I'm right. saying? That's so right. So listen, but did he forgive me? That's right. People are like, you know you shouldn't have said it like that. That's right. You know. You clean it up and you respect who, who's inside of you. Not who's standing in front of you. It's who inside of That's you. That's right. That's right. And you speak like I told you to speak. That's right. We just vessels. That's it. You know, I like it. I think it was Paul who had the thorn in his flesh. Yeah. And he wanted the Lord. Was it Paul, babe? All right. Two minutes. I'm going to say for <laughs> Paul had a thorn in his flesh, right? And he wanted the Lord to remove it. But yeah. the Lord said, no, it, it suffices. suffices. For you, you better, to keep it. You better come on. Because see, if we take that thorn out of out of our flesh, that issues that we have, excuse me, the issues we have, now we ain't got no more issues. And now That's we think right. we so prideful and we That's so great right. and we better than God. That's right. We got to have Girl, some thorns in our 